My name is Helen Chin, and I'm the assistant to the city manager on homelessness for the city of Culver City. So I went to UCLA for my undergraduate degree, um, and I studied organismic biology, evolution, and ecology. Um, and I also have my master's degree from Antioch University, Los Angeles in urban sustainability. And the last place I worked was the Rand Corporation. And I worked in the survey research group for about 10 years. A typical day would include um, responding to constituent emails um, regarding homelessness throughout Culver City, um, responding to an email from council members, um, having internal meetings, really discussing um, sort of housing or homelessness programming um, and going out to the field to meet some of our unhoused community along with um, other um, department partners. Injustice, um, inequity, the fact that things are unfair um, motivate me to get out of bed in the morning. Um, the things that motive the the positive things that motivate me or solutions that motivate me to get out of bed in the morning um, really has been you know collaborating and working with others um, people with different viewpoints on us on a problem um, but it's kind of within that space that you know we're able to um, you know figure out together how to address some of these really hard pressing issues that um, that is within my role. Particularly because I'm working for local government and local government and government in general is about service provision to the community and the community overall is quite diverse, um, even in an affluent community like Culver City. Um, so it's important to have people who share different viewpoints, have different backgrounds, different experiences, because you can't solve a problem with a really homogenous viewpoint. You can't, you can't continue the status quo um, to address an issue that's happening right now or anticipate issues in the future. So working across different, working with different people with different viewpoints really allows us to stretch our own understanding. It really allows us to question our own assumptions and it makes us pause and be truly humble about what we know and don't know. And so working with others really, um, with different viewpoints and backgrounds really brings that uh, together. Well, homelessness is a national, statewide, and a regional issue. Um, it is, you know, a symptom of a lot of systems failures. And so while my contribution to all this is going to be quite small, I see this work as a contribution to the collective effort to address a lot of these root cause issues that, um, uh, we haven't invested in, in a long time, you know, and particularly around housing, mental health services, health care, jobs, education. You know, we look at all these things. You can see how these pieces, how these systems have failed a lot of people and a lot of folks, uh, folks of color disproportionately. And so while my work has will have minimal impact, I do think that my work is a contribution to the larger collective effort of people working toward addressing um, issues around homelessness, race, housing, um, you know, our criminal justice system, things like that. My advice for young people, I would say it's twofold. First of all, I would say the public sector is one of the remaining sectors right now that actually offers people a living wage. And that's really important for um, communities of color because historically the public sector has been a source of jobs, a career ladder for um, our black community um, and other communities of color. And um, so that's one that's one aspect of it. And the other aspect of it is I do see a tide change and there's an opportunity to bring your, your talents, your analytical skills to within government to really serve the communities that um, that are often left out of the uh, of conversation, of discussion, of public decision making. And so, you know, if there is an element of wanting to come to the inside of institutions like government to, to look at things through a different lens, uh, to truly um, create a bridge between communities who, are, who aren't really served by government, to um, hopefully contributing to the, the shifting culture of government serving our communities better, um, I think those would be reasons for young folks to consider, you know, jobs in the public sector.